In this session, we're going to show you how to sign up a member. The first thing you'll do is click on people on the left side of the screen. Then we click on add a person. We're gonna have six steps to get a person signed up. Putting in their personal information, gender, birth date, location, any applicable fields. Custom fields can be put in for any information you guys would like to collect. So we wanna fill out the appropriate fields. Then we'll go to save and continue on the bottom. This is where we're gonna collect the contact information. Mobile, work phone, email address, home address. If this is a family and you have a couples package or whatever the case may be um, for a child and a, a parent, whatever it may be, we can always add a family member here and make them a head of household, meaning that all billing is coming out of one profile. If we're completed with the contact info, we click Save and Continue. We choose the status of their prospect. If they're not a prospect and they're ready to sign up, we continue past this page. If they're just interested in dipping their toe in the water, trying out a free week or whatever the case may be, we can put them into a different prospecting category. We indicate what they are interested in, how they heard about you, and if they were referred by someone, you type in the person's name that they were referred by. We will select the sales rep that closed this deal and signed this person up, and then we'll click Save and Continue. This is for signing somebody up with a membership beyond just a prospect. So we have all of your membership offerings. If they're choosing a prepaid six month, for example, we select the membership that's applicable, any discounts that are offered for this membership, and then save and continue. This is where we're gonna add payment to the account. So we click add a payment and we'll either swipe their card, which will only take payment for this month or this one payment. So for a punch pass that would be applicable for a monthly membership, we would want to either key in the credit card info or bank account information. Let's go ahead and key it in for an example. Expiration date, name, applicable address, and I recommend always indicating what type of payment this is for, for, for payments in the future. Once we save this change, we click credit card as default, save and continue, and then to run this payment, we're going to click on pay bills for this membership. We see that this is an outstanding $950 six month prepaid package, whatever the, uh, whatever the amount is that they're gonna be paid for this month, that will be current bills. All bills is paying everything in advance. For example, a 12 month agreement paid monthly, this will show the total for the 12 months. For those types of memberships, we're gonna to wanna to pay by current bills. We then click make a payment, and that payment will go through at that time. This is a bunk credit card number, so you can imagine it's not gonna go through, but you will get a green screen if that payment went through. If you do get a red screen, as you see in front of you, there was an error with the payment, meaning we, in, we inputted the billing address incorrectly, the, um, the credit card information or the bank account information wrong. So let's go back to the credit card on the top left, and we can see that there is an error on the account. We can correct that error, put in the information again, and run that credit card. 